What's up guys, real quick, before the video starts, we are dropping these new ransom tees this Friday on our website, strawberrypark.store at 11 a.m. PST. We got the black tee, and we got this white tee. Boom, here's the white tee too. Both two clean fire colors. For all of our clothing updates, follow our Instagram at Strawberry Park. Black or white, pick which one you like this Friday. These were popping up on my FYP for you, Paige. I'm a Christian. Okay, when's the last time you went to church? Haven't gone to church in over a decade. Um, Just being honest. And let me tell you why. I never felt 100% comfortable. I felt like, not to say I didn't belong. I don't know. You know, you just go places where you feel good when you go to that place. Yep. I never went to church and was like, oh, yes. Mm -hmm. I know that there's people that, feel that do have that feeling where they're like, yep. church is my favorite place to go, whatever, yep. whatever. Nor am I a religion expert or Christianity expert or anything. End of the day, I feel like if you have your own personal relationship with the higher up or God, like that's just for you to decide. For most people, you grow up and it's like you go to church mm -hmm. for the most part. That's what happened. I went to church. My parents took me frequently. And there was one church I went to. They made good cookies. Even that wasn't enough to keep me, to be honest, which is crazy. It was some good cookies. I read a little about different religions. I talked to people who different backgrounds. I was talking to someone who was Hindu, which I thought was really interesting. They were telling me about their religion. So these videos were popping up on my For You page okay. of people catching the Holy Ghost. Mm, that's the thing. The power of Christ. And it like almost goes through you or something. It overtakes them. And okay. some of these, there's a whole bunch of these. I'll start playing these. I want to get everyone's thought. I think we got different religions watching. We got different people watching. Holy Ghost Fire Power. <laughs> Oh, whoa. Oh. We'll watch a few. Okay. There's one. I never had that feeling. I went to church for about 70 years of my life, never missed a Sunday, so. When the power of the Holy Ghost comes upon you very strongly in Revival Church, Pretoria. The cast is just called the ghost. I'm gonna play that one more time for you. In case you missed it. Okay. When the power of the Holy Ghost comes upon you very strongly in Revival Church, Pretoria. There's another one. This is the power of the Holy Spirit moving in Revival Church, Montana, Pretoria with Apostle Jean-Pierre Becker. The kid didn't fall back. Well, he didn't feel anything. Oh. Oh! Her eyes were closed. How did he even know she touched her? That one might have been the actual ghost. That's what I'm saying. She didn't even feel it. This is the outpouring of the Holy Spirit at Revival Church, Krugersdorp. <laughs> I've never witnessed that before. I've not listened to that extent. Um, there's, there's two more here. The anointing is flowing so, so strong over the people. Give him the claw. Give him the purple cloth before he hits. Oh, do it in the back. That is shallow we shall be. And the way the way to pass it. Some people don't feel it like that. Let's do one more. Okay. <laughs> Camera oh, caught it. The cameraman couldn't even. And then they'd shake under the purple cloak. See, I have a lot of things to think about. Let me preface this by saying, anytime you speak about religion, people get really like, <gasps> in the church. I think it's beautiful. I think everybody coming together to put all their stuff together, like, I'm happy for them. Even the concept of different religions that teach certain morals about how to be and don't steal and X, Y, Z. I'm all with that. I like the concept of religion. Mm -hmm. Things like this leave me speechless for a few reasons. After meeting the hypnotist, Zach, who hypnotized y'all. Yeah. Couldn't hypnotize me. <laughs> he couldn't. <laughs> and seeing the power of the human mind and a suggestion and actual true hypnotism where you can make somebody convulse, you can mm -hmm. make someone jump up and down, you can make someone mm -hmm. scream, you can do that through actual hypnotism. 
romanticism. Right. And then I think I, I've witnessed that in real time. And then I see things like this and I think, hmm, is that indeed the Holy Ghost or whatever? I don't, again, I don't even know exactly what that is. The or power of some, Christ. Yeah. Or is that just your hyped up emotions? Is that someone's hyped up emotions and they're feeling it's God and then the pastor feels who, euphoric almost who knows certain noises and things and patterns. And you have the music and the lights or they're dim. Um, there's a lot. The environment factor is definitely adding to it. Because when I was hypnotized, I remember him snapping and I, I was, I felt I'm going to sleep. Almost uncontrollably, my eyes close and my head go down. And I said, oh shit, he just did that. Right. That was insane. Right. Now again, not everyone has had the experience of being hypnotized. Yeah. Just and people still think it's fake. People always think oh, yeah. it's fake. They were like, this is fake. You can tell it's fake because I swear to God. <laughs> It was real. It was crazy. But yeah, it makes me think like, what? What's going on? Yeah, I have no problem saying I don't. I think this is all fake that they're feeling <laughs> the actual Lord, but not that they're in tune with themselves and like overwhelmed with emotions and believing in what they believe in. What I think. Um, now, granted, you can't measure it. You know, can I can say that I don't think that was the Holy Ghost going through them, but I'm glad they're going through the euphoric feeling. I'm feeling more connected, but they could tell me that was him, and there's no way I could disprove them. So. And now, what happens if you put a committed Muslim in this situation? Yeah. Are they catching the Holy Ghost? Surely not, because they don't believe in this God. Again, just for pure assuming that. Okay, Jesus Christ and the Holy Ghost and the power of him and you took a group of a hundred any religion I'm mm -hmm. just using Muslim as an example you put them there and you do the same thing put the same songs talk about the same stuff You do the same. Oh, are they collapsing? Probably not. I don't think that they would they wouldn't even be watching those videos Anyways, because that's not the way they practice their religion, but everybody that does practice this one They're watching it like I feel that yes well, Yeah, which would if you take a step back it, It's just the way they're feeling and the way they're coming together They're mm -hmm. they're making themselves believe that's who's making them convulse like like that mm -hmm. but it's just them doing it themselves it's them making themselves do that and there will be people like they, we've never got to that well you, you, well because of the muslim they'll have an explanation for everything oh yeah like why would a muslim not also? yeah they'll probably yeah. come up with it well because they don't believe it and they haven't sit, found the word of god yet and god hasn't spoken to them in the right way that's why they don't have a certain reaction <laughs> bless you that was the He's trying to talk to us right now. I was saying that he wasn't going through them and they made me fucking, where's the dust around here? I don't know. <laughs> it could have been the cat. What are the odds of? The people who get triggered when you talk about religion. I don't get triggered when anyone talks about any sort of religion because I'm not God. Yeah, I know there's thousands of them that everybody practices. And I respect everyone's religion and assuming that it's not physically harming other people, yeah. then I will respect your religion. Well, it did back in the day. Yeah, then people use religion as a means to hurt, yeah. inflict pain on people, but that's a whole God said, we're superiors, we're gonna kill you. It's like, oh shit. That's a whole nother thing. Yeah. Well, and again, I'm not gonna be the morality authority and here's how things actually are. I know so little and I know how little I know. Yeah. So I'm not gonna speak on like, I know this for a fact. I'm simply asking questions and trying to figure out what the hell was that shaking? And it's like you had to have seen somebody do it first to where you're going to step up and just re let that out as well. Let that feeling out to where you want to move with your body. Because if nobody ever did that, then I don't, but then everybody's going to say because it was the Holy Ghost the whole mm -hmm. time. But my church that I grew up in, they never did that. It was just like very stoic, very serious. Mm -hmm. My other friend who I went to their church, this happened a lot. Really? Yeah. Like they would be the part of the thing where couldn't help it. He got to her or he, she, whatever. The Lord passed through and they're fainting. They're falling. Someone just be on on the ground passed out that I've seen, but that never happened at mine. So then it's like, is it just working better over here? But it only really happens in the places where, I mean, you saw they were all there standing there and yeah. that's the place where you go to do that. Correct. If the Holy Ghost was powerful as clearly it is. Yeah, how come 17 years of me going to church, why did I never feel that one? Surely you could have caught it the shivers once. Right? I thought it would have passed. Maybe I gotta go again. Maybe I gotta go to their church. Maybe it only works there. Like clearly it only works there. <laughs> you gotta go. No, what if they pull you up? He pulls you up on stage. <gasps> And you don't do anything. There's no up there. I mean, I have my happy right now. Do I have to fall? Is oh shit, y'all. Oh fuck. I look behind me. There's like eight people ready to catch me. They got the cloak out. Oh no, I'm feeling good. <laughs> Noah. <laughs> Dude, fall. <laughs> oh, fucking you pushed me. They whisper. Brother, you're supposed to fall over. One minute. You know you only come up here when you're ready to fall. Because what if I'm the person that I see that and I'm like, oh, I wonder if it happened to me. Yeah, and then I go up there and I'm like, I didn't feel it. I didn't feel that. Well, then that just means, oh, I have to just go along with what everybody else is doing. And again, I'm saying all this as a Christian. I like that concept. Okay, here's one more. I'm gonna play one more for you. There's people right now ready to explain this in the comment. They're typing right now in the comment. And here's why it happened. Real quick, guys. We just launched a website where we're gonna be putting all of our exclusive content, never before seen clips, longer extended videos, all the reactions that we couldn't upload onto this channel are 
all going onto this website. All you gotta do is become a member and you'll get weekly content, almost unlimited content in a way because we're gonna constantly be posting stuff. So check it out, become a member. If you've already watched all the Strawberry Park uploads and you need something else to watch during your lunch break, this is the chance. And this is almost for someone that wants a deeper connection with us. We'll oh, yeah. see a bit more because we already post what every other day here. So if you want more from us and you're at that level of a uh, supporter, check it out. Cause I think we're, we're not gonna disappoint with the content. Oh, I'm tired of the reactions. I want more vlogs. Oh, you, you oh, not you, a member? You, you didn't see him over there? Oh, the members just got two this week. <laughs> oh, oh you, have sign, no, you have to sign up. Y'all still watching the reaction? Oh, but they saw it a, a day early. MyStrawberryPark.com, click the first link. Become a member. Jesus opened deaf ear at Revival Church. Brock and fell all glory to God. Tight ass pants. Sorry. Holy shit. This guy loves his job. What side are you deaf? You are deaf in your right ear. You believe Jesus can open that ear? You believe Jesus can heal you tonight? Switch your hand. Oh, he got his hand in their ear. I take authority over this deaf spirit. I command them to go in the name of the Christ. Brand new ear drop. Stop. At the blow. Mm, can, can, I, she, can she hear? I feel like if it worked, she would have worked right away. Close the side. Why go to the doctors? Go to this guy. Now wait a minute. Stop it, dude. He's dead. Nah. And he keeps singing. Look at me, sweetie. How, how long were you deaf in that ear? For a while. For a while you've been deaf and now you can hear. So. Somebody shot you. Told ya. You got the Gucci belt on. <laughs> <laughs> you got the Gucci belt. And well, don't forget to make a donation right after this. Jesus. Oh, the Holy Ghost. Oh, you gotta fall. Oh, she started shaking. We have to fall and shake. But how come the one kid said there in another avenue? Now come on, y'all. Help me with that one. She was deaf and now not deaf. I need the religious people to help me. The guy with that. a microphone just spoke to her and said, "You're not deaf." He see, he fingered her ear. And then whoop, give it a little hawk two in that thing. <laughs> Pull the cobwebs out. When you're blowing off your Xbox to get it working. <laughs> but that was Jesus's breath, kind of going through him. But her, I didn't like her answer. It took like a while. So either she was like, "Holy fuck, this happened," or. Uh, yeah, we'll go with it work, yeah. But see, that's not good, because then I just hope he's not promoting, like, we cure everybody here, even deaf people. That's why uh, I watched the interview where Chris Angel uh, was on a Steve-O podcast, and he gets mad at, like, psychics, because he's like, cool, you think that you can read my mind, but you're just making people pay, and you don't really know, you're just doing a really good cold read. And so he always goes to them, he's like, cool, go speak to the dead then, try to do that. And then nobody really give him a clear answer, and I'm not saying that's what this is, but for him to have cured her death, being deaf either she wasn't really deaf to begin with or she's just going with it but there's no way is it possible and again i don't know who these people are or what this church or anything is it possible that this person or this church does these facades or maybe she's an actress or or they do these stunts or some extras that then people watch and go oh, wait they cured her deaf now i'm gonna be a member of this church so i can get saved and are we watching this off the pastor's tiktok is this just a random tiktok from that church Oh, no. And then people are now are at this church giving their donation. And then the donations are going to the church. And the, you got all the people in the comments. My Lord is awesome. Amen. Yeah, so they're plugging it. This is like their promo. <sighs> See, that's a little weird. Like, the so, church I went to never had a TikTok. Or had to make videos to promote what they said inside to get you to go. But also, yeah, churches have to make money too to keep the air on. Besides word of mouth, like this place has the karaoke going on. Not karaoke, whatever, but... Seems like a bigger church. And everyone in the comments, amen. Glory to God. My God is awesome. Amen, amen. Oh Lord, praise God. All glory to God. He is faithful to what he promised. Look away from the man and see God doing what he has said he would do. This is their community and you just 
let them rock. Cause look, they can do this in the confines of this church and have a blast. And yeah, cause if you go there and point it out, I'll be like, well, let it happen to me. Well, like, here's the thing. I have acid reflux, very crippling. Can I go here? I'm being honest. I like, would love to stop taking some pills every day. I would love that shit if I could eat my chicken tikka masala after 8 p.m. I would enjoy that deeply. Honestly, I can't even eat it that late. Honestly, more like 6 p.m. And even then I might still be cooked. I gotta eat it like early in the day and I gotta have something else after it. But anyway, I'm just asking questions. Was there a chance that that's not real? Am I a bad person for assuming that that might not be what is happening? Especially if you're not gonna put it in line saying at your church, this can happen. That's pretty much what you just showed. And if God can really cure people's deaf things, well, surely then everyone will be lining up outside this place. Correct. So I can hear better. And then it would be unfair if another person that's fully deaf goes there and says, do it to me. And if you can't do it, I'm gonna be upset. And you can't, what are you gonna tell me that? He's just not working. He's working mysteriously today. He's not, he's working his mysterious ways where he doesn't wanna come. What do you mean? You just cured the other girls. You cured her, why is she more deserving than me? And then you start to just get into this gray area of what the hell. Yeah, like what is this? I feel like it's just always, you gotta tiptoe around the, you could say there's a chance that this isn't real, but then the people themselves say it is and you can't quantify or measure God, we could just be living through him right now. It's like, you want to point it out, but then I'm not the person that fell down and twitched. Um, you don't know. I felt him. The reason that I believe in an afterlife of sorts or Christianity in general is because I've had uh, firsthand experiences about things about the afterlife where I was like, hmm. Is that like hearing people's the NDA, NDEs and near-death experiences, like hearing people's stories? Hearing that, even having my own experience with things that are not of this world where I was like, mm. now that I can't explain. Yeah. And I only got that through my own personal experience, mm -hmm. which is why I say that I'm a Christian and I believe in that and I want to believe in that. But then I see things like this talking about some we cure deaf ears. And then I'm like, okay, now what are we doing here exactly? Because <laughs> you put a stain on it right now. Now you're saying you can do medical miracles from a guy that's not a doctor. And you know what? I want this to be real. I want to be able to go here and they can fix my acid reflux. Now, I hope he doesn't have to stick his hand down my throat Um, because he had to put the hand yeah, in the Yeah, he was in there for a second. But if they can do that, I'll be the first person in line at this place. Lying there tomorrow. But I have a weird inkling that they can't do that. Probably a rule of who you think is to go up on the stage. Like, yo, I have leukemia. Can I please go up? <laughs> can I please go up on the stage with the, my guy? Is there anybody else? <gasps> me, 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 me. I, I had six months to live, please. Any half deaf people here? No, no, no. Who donated the most today? We'll take that person. You're a generous person. Come on up. I've been promising you're just saying medical mirrors happen here at our services. And like I said, what happens when those people go there and that they don't get what you're showing? It's like, why would you show that in the first place? Because that girl was now just kind of deaf. She said for a while. I'm like, so you weren't really deaf? Wait, yeah, she did say it was she for did. a while. Like when I skydived, I was half deaf for the whole next two days because my ears don't pop. But everything recalibrated and came back. She can't believe it. How long will you dead be that year? For a while you've been dead. It's been a while. What does that mean? If someone asks you how long you've been deaf, wouldn't you say either my whole life? You wouldn't know exactly how long. It's been a while. I've been, I've been dead ever since somebody shoved a pencil in my ear three years ago in class and they fucked it up. Five years, maybe you would name a time. But this is a vulnerable person up there, big lights, don't know how big the crowd is, the guy's talking to you one-on-one. -on -one. Like, if it didn't really happen, I don't think you'd even want to lie in this moment. I know I don't think you'd want to tell the truth, but I have to go off what she said. She said she did get healed, so I can't assume she's lying, but what if she did? Hey, I saw the Gucci belt and the skinny pants and are making me like- Designer loafers on, they got the suede loafers on. Like we make money at this church. That's what I'm feeling. Can you 100% I guess so. Somebody show Jesus. Somebody say Jesus. Now fall. Holy shit. Well, oh, who can explain it then? There are some medical miracles and there's some people suffering that could really use that service. This guy, every Sunday, they would love to go there. Me, me. Bro, I had a deviated septum for like two years. I should have gone to him. Should have gone there. I could have went like, picked my nose and I would have been able to breathe properly. I just came from the dentist. I have to start wearing a retainer. Mm. Um, there was like corrosion in my bottom teeth. Oh shit. I'm opening up here right now. Well, there's corrosion from plaque because I have a permanent retainer. So I was keeping my shit straight, but it was eroding my teeth. So now they have to, they're straight, but they need to be repositioned and they need to take out the front retainer, put a new retainer in that I wear for three months, adjust it so my teeth move and can close the, the gaps. Or just go here this Sunday and you'll get it done. You don't have to worry about the retainer. I think I'm gonna do that. Yeah. See y'all there.